where I'll be solving this question on what now? Stoichiometry. Now look at it. The question says, what mass of solid calcium carbide is needed to produce 5.6 dm cube of a time at STP, whereby STP means standard temperature and pressure, giving the molar volume to be 22.4 dm cube. Now, seeing this question is actually very easy, but you just need to know some concepts. Now, let's talk about this question, the solution. Now, the question says what mass of solid calcium carbide is required to produce 5.6 dm cube over time. So, as a student, you need to understand the reaction because this question has a reaction. So, they said solid calcium carbide. This is calcium carbide. Now, you are producing a time, but what are you going to react calcium carbide with? You are going to react calcium carbide with water. H2O. So what we get out of our product will be calcium hydroxide that slate like and a time which is C2H2. A time belongs to the family of our kinds. Okay, a time belongs to the family of what now we are kinds. Now let's balance this reaction. So we balancing the reaction, we are going to put two moles of hydrogen here, whereby hydrogen will come forth. 2 and 2, that's 4. Carbon, 2. Carbon, 2 again. Calcium, 1, 1. Oxygen, 2. Oxygen, 2. So you can see this reaction is balanced. And this is the reaction for this question. Now they are not asking us what mass of solid calcium carbide is required to produce 5.6 dm cube over time. So, you can see we balance the reaction. So, what you need to know now is this. You can see the question says, what mass of solid calcium carbide is required to produce 5 or 6 dm cube over time? So, what will happen here is you are just interested with calcium carbide and a time. You have no business with water and calcium hydroxide. But the business you have with water and calcium hydroxide is this for you to balance the rea reaction to get the the stoichiometric mode correctly. So now we balance the reaction. So we are interested in just calcium carbide and a time. So let's bring them down. So calcium carbide and a time. Now you can see just one moves. One moves. So what we have here is this: we are going to get a number of moles of calcium. Sorry, we are going to get a number of moles of a time using this volume. Now you can see the question is at STP. Now, number of more at STP is volume over 22.4 dm cube. Now, the volume of a time is given to be what now? 5.6 dm cube. So we'll just put it. 5.6 dm cube over 22.4 dm cube. So when we do this, number of moles of a time becomes 0.25 moles. So we've got the number of moles of a time. So we put it here. So 0.25 moles is going to give us X mole of calcium carbide. Now we cross multiply. So X mole of calcium carbide become 1 times 0.25 over 1. So same as 0.25 moles of calcium carbide. Now the question says, what mass of solid calcium carbide? So we are going to get the mass. So recall this formula for number of moles is number of moles is mass over molar mass. So what is the mass? Mass become number of moles times molar mass. Okay, now let's get the molar mass of calcium carbide. This is calcium carbide, whereby calcium is 40 and carbon is 12. Since we have two atoms here between, it, it's going to be 12 times 2, that's 24. So 40 plus 24, that's 64 grams per mole. Okay, 64 grams per mole. So now we can get the mass now by saying mass is equal to number of moles, which is 0 0.25 moles, times the molar mass, which is 64 grams per mole. So we are going to get 16 grams of 
solid calcium carbide. So this is the answer to this question. It's actually very easy just about understanding. So you can see the way I solved it. We got the reaction test and did some stoichiometric balancing, brought what we are interested in down and solved. Okay? So this is how to solve this question. You get 16 grams of cal solid calcium carbide. Thanks for watching.